On MySpace and on Facebook, in hotels and on high streets, scam modelling agencies are now enjoying a multi-million pound business of flattery and deception. Rogue agents are now preying on would-be models with empty promises of the glamorous world of celebrity. But what are the government doing to help? And what can be done to stop innocent dreams turning into debt? I'm off into the fashionable fairy tale of fame and fortune to uncover the hidden truths behind this modelling madness. Do you think that you've got what it takes to be a model? Oh yeah, definitely. Absolutely. So. Yeah, we might be a model, yeah. yeah. Do you reckon you got what it takes? Good looking guy? Yeah, yeah I think so. I can model at home on my own, so yeah, I would do. And do you think you've got what it takes to be a model? Very pretty lady? Yeah, I think so. What do you think it takes to be a model these days? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Darling, we're a fashion, don't you know? Cos he loves the models on the house, the models not so much. So the wannabes want to swap the high street for high fashion. And it's streets like these that present fresh hunting grounds for the fraudsters. They say they can make your dreams a reality, but not before you pay them your hard-earned cash up front. some modelling you have got just the look that I am after you could be a star darling I'm talking about campaigns for Topshop Louis Vuitton we're talking Versace baby all we could do is this I'll take some pictures of you right all it'll cost you is 300 pounds that's all it's gonna take and then you could be a star take my details I'm gonna be in touch oh, call me call me call me hi my name is Duncan Buxton um, I've had a few calls from you um, I was scouted by one of your agents on Carnaby Street. Duncan was scouted months ago. The agency on the other end of the phone doesn't even know what he looks like. Aren't these techniques of a fraudulent nature? Shouldn't these agencies be prosecuted? This is precisely the role of the government's employment agency standards. Its role is to inspect agencies and investigate complaints about agency conduct. This is the body that must bring these rogues to account. There have been 342 cases in the last full year that have been put up to the Employment Standards Agency. One of those 342 actually got prosecuted. So the government has got to start prosecuting and not sitting on its hands. So it seems that Andrew's daughter's not the only girl with stars in her eyes. A recent survey found that one in three children dream of being a celebrity when they grow up. So, are we living in a wannabe culture? Yes, I think every child at some stage dreams of being something and in her case it was to do a bit of modelling and acting. They're not aspiring to be a teacher or to be a lawyer or whatever. They're aspiring to be, you know, really early ages, if they want to be a, a, a glamour Cele model. Or a celebrity. I you thought just... that. I thought, get a modern agency, I'll be in those magazines, people recognise me. And I think, wow, you know, my friends would be like, you're in that magazine today. And they'd be like, you know, that's cool. Our society is full of people with misplaced aspirations. The question is, should the state protect them? You always had the need, have had the need to have legislation to protect young people. Children have to be protected. They have to be protected at various levels. At the moment, the legislation just isn't there. But why should the government care about fame or fashion? Well, whether you're aiming to be the next posh or Bex, in need of a confidence boost, or just want to earn a little bit of extra cash, we're all susceptible to getting sucked in by the wonderful world of showbiz. We could blame the media or the rogues for taking advantage. We could even blame the delusional wannabes chasing the limelight. But no matter whose fault it is, shouldn't the government be stepping in? This isn't a problem confined to the pages of Heat magazine. It points to a wider social issue. Politicians might not know their Primark from their Prada, but what they should know is how to protect. Oh.